This video is part one of the series on the torus view of the human body. According to the torus view of the human body, the human body can behave as if it is constructed like a torus. Torus is a fancy word for a donut shape. This picture shows an example torus shape from the front. Next is a view of the torus from the side. The final picture is from above and to the side so that the three-dimensional nature of the torus can be seen. The identifying characteristics of a torus are that it is a circular object, as emphasized in this picture, with a circular hole penetrating the center, as emphasized in this picture. The inner diameter, outer diameter, or the height of a torus can change, but as long as the object adheres to the definition shape of a torus, a circular object with a circular hole penetrating the center, the object is still a torus, as illustrated in this comparison picture. The center torus is the example torus that looks like a donut. The torus on the left has been stretched vertically to make it tall. Even though the object on the left is taller than the donut torus, it is still a circular object with a circular hole in the center, so the object on the left is still a torus. The torus on the right has had the hole in the center reduced in diameter. The hole was colored blue to make it more visible. Even though the hole in the center of this torus is small, the object on the right still fits the definition of a torus. According to the torus view of the human body, the human body can be treated as if it is constructed of a torus shape located on the body as shown in this picture. The torus covers the body from side to side and from the groin to the top of the head. In this picture, the torus has been made partially transparent so its relationship to the human body can be seen. The hole penetrating the center of the torus can be seen in this overhead view picture. The size of the hole penetrating the center of the torus is exaggerated to emphasize that the object is a torus and to clearly reveal the top of the head inside of the hole in the center of the torus. The size of the hole in the center of the torus in reality should be smaller as demonstrated in this picture. The transparent torus makes it possible to see that the small hole in the center of the torus exposes a small area in the center of the head instead of completely revealing the top of the head as was done with the previous exaggerated example picture. The torus view of the human body is similar to the single cylinder view of the human body as can be seen in this comparison picture. The torus and the cylinder are both centered on and enclose the torso of the human body. The torus view of the human body is similar to the single cylinder view of the human body for the simple reason that a torus is similar to a cylinder. The torus view of the human body can be thought of as being created by punching a hole through the center of the cylinder of the single cylinder view of the human body as shown in this picture. The construction of the torus from the torus view of the human body is exactly the same as the construction of the single cylinder view of the human body. The torus is constructed of an infinite number of infinitely thin layers running from the center of the torus to the outer edge of the torus. The layers do not run straight from the center of the torus to the outer edge of the torus as demonstrated in this picture. The layers follow a curved pattern like the one shown in this picture. According to Happy Theory, these layers are constructed of individual fibers woven together. The fibers have already been shown to follow a curved path in the horizontal plane as shown in this picture. The fibers also follow a curved pattern in the vertical direction as demonstrated by this picture. A real world example of the way that the fibers that the torus is constructed of flow is provided by this picture of a ball of twine. The fibers in the ball of twine follow the same curve pattern as the fibers in the torus of the torus view of the human body. Examination of the top of the ball of twine reveals the curved path of each fiber at the top of the ball of twine as emphasized in this picture. The curved path of the fibers in the ball of twine as they travel from the top to the bottom of the ball of twine is unmistakable as shown in this picture. The uses to which the torus view of the human body can be put to and the insights provided into the human body by the torus view of the human body will be addressed in the following videos of this series.